which on crucifixion honors. Crucifixion honors. Somebody, I don't know who it was, said, you know, the, 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 that, that's a heavy subject. Let me tell you something, it was a heavy subject. It wasn't heavy on the heart of God Almighty. Amen. When he sent his darling baby boy down Amen. here to this whole sin right. world, amen, amen, to die for your sins. Yes. Right, right. They say, well, he came to be a teacher. Oh, he was a good teacher. There ain't no yeah. doubt about that. Yeah. You say he worked a lot of miracles. I understand that. Amen. The Bible said he came to seek and to save Amen. that which was born. Right. 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 And then the Bible said in John 18, 37, <laughs> to this end was I born. Amen. Jesus was born to die for your sins Amen. and for my sins. Amen. 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 Now, brother, I don't know a whole lot about your life. You're a young man and everything. You probably didn't get into trouble I got into. But I, I've got news for you. When I got saved, I didn't, I didn't quit drinking. Hey, man, I just changed fountains. Hey, 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 I'm so glad that I'm under the blanket of the blood of the Lamb. I'm blood brothers with the Son of I Am. Hey, 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 hey. I, I, I thank God that there is a fountain filled with blood. Hey, 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 sinners' blood beneath that blood. Who's yeah. all? I'm glad about that. Right. We're going to kind of jump around a little bit tonight. I'd like to start in John chapter number 19. In John chapter number 19, and I'm just going to read a couple verses there. I'm not going to try to extend the service just for time's sake, but uh, I, I really believe that I'm going to read out this is what God had me preach tonight. But in John chapter number 19, and verse number 16, the last part of verse number 16, okay? The Bible said, and led him away. Verse 17. And he, bearing his cross, went forth to the place called the place of a skull, which is called in the Hebrew, Golgotha. Right. Psalms chapter number 4 and verse number 2. If you can turn there quickly, go ahead and turn there. If you can't, that's okay. I'm going to read it to you. But in Psalms chapter number 4 and verse number 2, this is prophetic, okay? O ye sons of men, how long will you turn my glory into shame? You know, they tried to shame our Lord and Savior while He was down here. But I got news for them, okay? It didn't work. No. Amen. That's what we're going to talk about tonight. In Genesis chapter number 50 and verse number 20, and I hadn't seen this until uh, I, I, I was studying this sermon out and everything, but in Genesis chapter number 50 and verse number 20, you remember the story about Joseph? <laughs> you, you remember the coat of many colors? You remember how his brothers got jealous because of the coat and everything, and, and they, they sold him into slavery. And then uh, uh, several years went past and he worked his way up in, the, in that heathen land and, 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 and he, be, he became second in charge, okay? Uh, his daddy died. They buried his dad. And, and his brothers knew with their dad off the scene that they were in trouble. They'd been, they knew what they'd done, okay? And they came back to him. Yeah. And here's what Joseph, I, I've never had seen the prophecy of this until this week. But in, in Genesis chapter number 50 and verse number 20, the Bible says, But as for ye, ye thought evil against me, but God meant it to good, unto good, to bring it to pass, as in this day, now I want you to get this last phrase, to save much people. Joseph was a type of Christ. Yeah. He showed us in type, of sh in type and shadow a little bit about the life of Christ. Oh, yeah. But I've never seen that. And just as Joseph saved his family and all his kinfolk and the folks who had come to him uh, because they didn't have anything to eat and didn't have anybody to look after and all that kind of stuff, just as he physically saved them, Jesus Christ come and said to that celestial spirit. Yes. And he did that to save your own wretched soul. Yeah. 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 Crucifixion 
Yes. Honors. Let's pray before I get carried away. Father, I need to get carried away. God, I need your Holy Ghost just to come upon me. God, for just a little while tonight, I pray, God, that you'd give me something. Lord, that I might be able to give these folks. And Lord, I don't have it. Lord, you're going to have to give it to me. Holy Spirit of God, I, I ask you one more time to walk up and down these aisles and in and out of these rows. God, I beg, oh God, work in the heart of every man, woman, boy, and girl in this place. Lord, we're coming to Resurrection Sunday. We're, we're coming to the great getting up morning. And Lord, we just need to understand and realize what you did for us on that cross. Yes. Lord, it, it wasn't just some little uh, flim flam thing that you did. Mm -hmm. I pray God that you would you, you would speak mm -hmm. to our hearts and, and Lord we can appreciate mm -hmm. in a way we have never appreciated the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. Father, if there's anybody in the house that doesn't know you as Savior, yes. I pray God right now you get trouble with spirit. Yes. Yes. I pray God that their heart would begin to, to, to beat a few beats faster. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lord, they become concerned that they were to die and to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. Lord, I pray that you'll be with the folks that are carrying burdens. I know there's folks in this auditorium that are almost to crumble underneath the load of a burden. Mm -hmm. And I ask you how to lift that burden. Mm -hmm. that Amen. Amen. Pray God that you'll move in this place. Yes, Lord. Yes. Lord, if it be your will that I sit down and shut up, that'll be all right. Yeah. Lord, if you, if you leave me up here, I need your power. Amen. Lord, I need that more than I need the breath of life. Oh, yes. God, I'll be secure. Lord, if you'll just move in here and work, I'll give you all the praise and all the honor and all the glory. Yep. Make my prayer in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. I know he's worthy. Yes. Amen. 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 As we begin to look tonight at the atrocities of the cross, you say that's a big word. I know I had to look it up. Amen. I'm just a dumb old country boy. I got I got to study a whole bunch. Uh, an atrocity that the cross had was barbarity. Yeah. It was the most barbaric way anybody could die. Worse than the heathens in the darkest part of Africa. It was barbaric. It was not only barbaric, it was heinous. I mean it, it was horrible. It was ugly with a capital U. Okay? Right. It was not only barbaric, it was not only heinous, it was inhumane. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was the whole idea. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they, they, they treated him like a piece of meat. Let me tell you something. When Jesus Christ got to Calvary's hill and, and before they crucified him, he was unrecognizable as a human being. Yeah. Yeah. They had beat him so bad that his very organs hung out his ribcage. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. Yeah. 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 It was inhumane. It was despicable. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. right. It was a tragedy. Right. It was a travesty of justice. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. The atrocities of the cross. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at some of them tonight. But, 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 let me tell you something, folks. When, when, when you start studying out the crucifixion and the resurrection, you, you're going to find out there's a whole lot more. Uh, than, than, than what you can get in three or four nights. Amen? Right. I, I, I got to study, Brother Arthur, on, on the veil. Amen? Mm -hmm. And, then, and I, I, I read there in, in Matthew chapter number 27 uh, how the veil was rent in twain from the top to the bottom. Now, that's what I wanted to preach on tonight. Amen? But the Lord wouldn't give me the liberty. Okay? Yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, that was a big old thick veil. It wasn't a little uh, flimsy piece of cloth like this, okay? Uh, yeah. uh, Jewish custom tells us that veil may have been as thick as a man's hand, okay? Yeah. And when Jesus died on the cross and he thundered throughout all eternity, he is, he is finished. Right. That veil tore from the top to the bottom. Yeah.
I'll tell you what that did. It gave you and me yeah. access. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He had bells on the, on, on the hem of that garment. Amen. Right. So if he wasn't right with God and God killed him while he was in there, yeah. they know he was dead. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. So when God ripped that veil in two, amen, it, it allowed access for you and me. Right. Yeah. Right. It allowed us to see amen. the panorama of everything that had occurred in the, in the Word of God. Right. Right. There's a reason for everything in the mind. Amen. There's a reason the Bible tells the story about the potter and the clay. Amen. And I'm glad, Joe, that every now and then God has to yank a stick out of me. Okay. Amen. I'm glad every now and then God just puts a little pressure on me. Amen. I'm glad every now and then the water of the Holy Ghost of God gets on me. Amen. And God reworks my life a little bit. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But I think preach on the I don't know. I got started it. <laughs> it's not only the fact that it allowed us actually, let me tell you something you don't have to have no priest Amen. 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 I'm, I'm very sorry for what happened in Paris <coughs> I, I really am yeah. there's a lot of people's hope that was dashed mm -hmm. when that <coughs> what they call it no. No Notre Dame. 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 I thought it was Notre Dame. All these years I thought it was Notre Dame. No, Notre Dame. And, but it's not. It's, it's Notre Dame. Okay? But they, they saw that fire burning in, in, in the cathedral there, and the flames began to shoot through the roof. Uh, and it, it got in that big, uh, that big spire and everything. And, and I watched it live the first time they showed it. I mean, it just happened to be on the news when I was watching it, okay? Yeah. And that, that big old spire fell. And, and they said you could hear people gasp. All the way uh, through the city of Paris, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not news. I hate it happened. I really do. But that didn't affect my faith. Yeah. 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 My faith is grounded yeah. in the one yeah. that died yeah. on the cross. Right. Yeah. 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 I hate that it happened. Yeah. I even hate that they have raised already. Right, yeah. Not one billion. Billions of dollars mm -hmm. to reconstruct <laughs> yeah. the Notre Dame Cathedral. Mm -hmm. I just wonder how many people are going to die and go to hell. Mm -hmm. Because they're going to have the finest, most exquisite cathedral in all of the world. I just wonder about that. Right. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I've got news for you. When, when he died on the cross and, and he tore that veil from top to bottom, it allowed us access. Okay? Yeah. Showed us all the hidden things of the old dispensation. The old laws and ordinances were put away. Yeah. Right. Aren't you glad about that? Yeah. Yeah. Now let me tell you something. The, 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 the Bible is a, is a schoolmaster. The Old Testament's a schoolmaster right. okay? right. to teach us, okay? Yeah. Uh, the old Bible said you shouldn't kill. I don't care how mad you get at me, Dad, okay? The Bible said thou shalt not kill. I'm glad that's that. I'm glad that the, the basic laws in the United States of America are built around the Ten Commandments, yeah. okay? Yeah. And I tell you what I'm even more glad of, I don't have to keep the feast. I don't have to keep all the ceremonies yeah. and the rituals. Yeah. I don't have to have a lamb to yeah. slay. I don't have to have a turtle dove. I don't have to have my pilgrimage. Yeah. Why? Because Jesus. Yeah. 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 He changed it for you and He changed it for me. Yeah. 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 I know it was real good at, at, at obeying rules. I don't know why, I mean, I'm just a heathen, I guess. <laughs> I never was real good at that, but I sure am glad 
that my salvation does not rest on what I do. Amen. But what He does. Amen. 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 That's right. Thank God. Not only did it allow us access, did it put away the old ordinances, did it reveal the hidden things of the dispensation, okay? Uh, it did away and allowed us access to paradise. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Now don't worry about that cuckoo clock. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if I can cry, if I can preach over a crime, maybe I can preach over a crime. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But, but ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, do you understand? Do you realize that when Jesus died on the cross, he gave you access to the very holy place called heaven? Yeah. 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 God. Amen. Yeah. I'm probably not going to get far through this sermon. I wasn't planning on getting off from chasing that rabbit. But <laughs> for some reason, God wanted us to. Yeah. Praise God. I'm going to preach on some crucifixion honors, not as many as I was going to earlier. The first one I want to preach on is the fact that they gave him a procession of honor. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Used to, when a soldier came home, They'd have a parade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now they don't do that anymore. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you got to be an NBA basketball star to get a parade. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You, you got to win the World yeah. Series anymore. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, it, it's insane what we celebrate. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's a soldier boy that's going across the sea. I know. I got boys that have been over there. Okay. Yeah. They are never the same. Okay, right. and some of you probably been in the service, right? Uh, you know, and, and everything. But they, they used to give a parade when a soldier boy come home. They don't right. do that anymore, right? They used to give parades for people that had done great things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I understand they give Babe Ruth a parade. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Well, Ladies and gentlemen, they gave Christ the parade. Yeah. Yeah. They gave yeah. him a procession of honor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look with me, if you would, in the book of John, chapter number 19. Mm -hmm. Those same two verses. The Bible said in verse 16, and they led him away. And he bearing his cross went forth into a place called the place of the skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha. Yeah. You see, they had already beaten him and tried to kill him by beating him. But he, he wasn't done, okay? If he had died on the whipping post, uh, okay, it wouldn't be according to the Word of God. Right? Right, right, right. He had to go to Calvary, yeah, right, right. okay? Yeah. John said, I saw Jesus bear his cross. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But along the Via Della Rosa that day, I've never been there. I preached to the fellow's church uh, last Sunday that just got back from the Holy Land, okay? And, and, and he was excited. He was as excited as a turn out in the yoga. Amen. Right. I, I, I mean, he was as happy as a kitty cat a cat in fact, they are. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, just, just to be able to relate some of the things that he saw when he was over there. I ain't never been there. But ladies and gentlemen, I've got news for you. I don't have to go that I'd like to. Amen. Before me and grandma goes to heaven, I'd like to go over there. I'd like to see all that stuff over there. But ladies and gentlemen, I don't have to. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Because right. I got the word of God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And, and this old book right here is right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Now, I don't know what you think about this old book. Mm. But this old book needs to hold a high place. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. You know what bothers me? I, I get in churches now. Uh, you've probably never been there, Arthur, but I've been in churches and, and, and folks have had the, the Bible and everything, and you can tell they don't ever read it because all the pages are still stuck together. <laughs> you ever get a new Bible? i got to buy a new Bible. I've got pages. I, 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 I don't know why I have lost pages in my Bible. It's, I mean, it's tore all pieces. But, but anyway, but you see people, and they got a uh, they got a brand new Bible and they, they're having Turn them pages apart, okay? Yeah. And when the service is over, <laughs> well, that does something to me. I don't know if it bothers you, Joe, but it bothers me, okay? Yeah. All right? Yeah. Oh, we need to fall back in love with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Right. yeah. Fall Amen. back in love with the man that that personifies. 
Yeah. We're the King of Kings and the Lord yeah. of Lords. Yeah. The Bible said in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. God. Amen. Amen. That's Jesus written. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But that wasn't what they were doing. They, they, they were having a parade to thank Him for all He'd done. Right. There was Roman legionnaires that were there just to keep the peace. Let me tell you something. When you're the Prince of Peace, mm. you don't have to have no way. Amen. 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 Mm. They, they were there to keep him from escaping. Let me tell you something. If he wanted to leave, he could have left. That's right. Yeah. 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 Okay. They didn't take his life from him. Okay. The Bible said he laid his life down. Yeah. Right. But, but, but here comes that parade down the Via Della Rosa. And, and here's all these Roman legionnaires. And they're in front of him. And they're behind him and probably beside him, okay? They're standing guard on the criminal, okay? Mm -hmm. There was Jewish priests in that parade, mm -hmm. right? And they wanted to see him murdered. Right. They wanted yeah, to right. see him killed. Why? Well, he was taking too much of their glory. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean, right. he was interfering with their little, uh, their little programs they had going. Right, okay? right. Mm-hmm. There was men and women, probably boys and girls, I wouldn't doubt. And the very focal point of the procession of honor was a man that had been beat beyond human recognition. Yes, mm -hmm. right. Yes. And he carried that old 300-pound cross on his back. Right. And he wasn't running through the streets of Jerusalem. Right. He wasn't bouncing the back of that cross off the cobblestones. It was a task. It would have been a task for a healthy man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when it had been beat the way he had been beat. Right. Yeah. And I believe the parade was, I know it was endorsed by the king mm -hmm. and probably observed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Conscious pilot can take all the water in every ocean on right. this earth right. and run it across his hands. Let right. mm -hmm. me tell you something. The blood of Jesus Christ will always be on the hands of Pontius Pilate. Right. Right. You yeah. say, well, he wouldn't have been popular. Forget being popular, amen. Right? Yeah. I'm so stinking and sick and tired of our politicians being more worried about being popular than they are being right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Right, right. I know he approved it, and I think he probably observed it. Yeah. Uh, this is the triumph which the world awards to him who overthrew their direst foes, mm -hmm. the curse of sin. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Derisive shouts were his only acclamation. Cruel taunts were his only payments of praise. You see, the first honor they gave him was a procession of honor. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, now, buckle up, buttercup, here it comes. The church of the Lord Jesus Christ does not honor Christ the way we should. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. Yes. Don't take the Lord's name in front of me. Amen. I mean, it, it, they, they got a whole lot of things that gets my feathers ruffled, okay? But you start talking about the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and using His name in a profane way, I'll stop you. Yes, I will. I was showing a piece of rental property years and years ago. And then and, and the, the couple was looking at it, and the guy, bigger than Joe, I mean, he was a monster of a guy, okay? I, I, mean, I, I mean, he was just, uh, he was massive. And, and we walked through, I think, the living room into the kitchen, and he took the Lord's name in vain. I said, hey, baby, we're not going to have that in here. I said, this is my place, okay? And I don't care whether you like it or whether you don't like it, but we're not taking the Lord's name in vain. We don't have the profanity. Yeah. 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 Preacher, you sure was a brave uh, fellow in your in, in your younger days. Hey, I had two boys upstairs. 
Hmm. Both of them over 200 pounds, okay? Mm -hmm. both, both of them had arms on them that could tear a ham off a, off a hog with, okay? <laughs> and all they had to do was whistle, okay? <laughs> and them boys had to come down the stairs and they cleaned that old guy's clock, okay? <laughs> Just say, well, he was awful brave. <laughs> no, I, I wanted to take a stand for something that right. meant something. Yeah. Let me tell you something. He's more than just a swear word. Yeah. He's the yeah. fastest son of yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. tonight, I propose to you the fact that yes, <clears throat> they had a procession of honor for him. Second of all, they presented him with the wine of yeah. honor. You remember what Jesus said when he turned the water into wine? Or what they said about that? Yeah. You, most, most of the weddings you go to, they have the good wine first. Yeah. Okay? I mean, the, the stuff that, that tastes good, now, that stuff don't taste good to me anymore. Mm -hmm. I ain't tried any in 40, 44 years now, okay? Okay? <coughs> and, I, and I don't want, I don't even like the smell of it. Amen. Okay? Yes. But if you were going to honor somebody, you would have the good wine first. I mean, the sweet nectar of, of the vine. And then as the evening wore on, when they got a little more intoxicated, you could throw in some cheap stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boone's Farm out. How'd you know about that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, brother, we were finding out a lot about a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. Boy, it, it would scare you if you knew how much my life and Brother Pruitt's life were similar. I mean, very similar. And I'm absolutely blown out of the water that you mentioned Boone Farm out of the wine. <laughs> they used to drink that stuff out of the horn. <laughs> but, but ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. They give him, they presented him with the wine of honor. Turn with me, do it quickly, quickly, quickly to the book of Mark, okay? In, in, in Mark chapter number 15, verse number 23. Uh, and then we'll, we'll read on down to verse 36 too. And they gave him to drink wine mingled with myrrh. But he received it not. You know why he didn't receive it? Because he was alcoholic. Yeah. He was fermented wine. Yeah. The wine and the myrrh if he would have taken that, it would have dulled some of his senses. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, he didn't want his senses dulled. Right, right. He right. was tempted in all parts as we are. He died the death on Calvary for you and for me. He won't know right. what it was all about. Yeah. Right. And then in verse number, uh, chapter 15, verse number 36, the Bible said, One man filled a sponge full of vinegar and put it in one reed and gave him a drink, saying, Let it alone. Uh, let us see whether Elias will come and take him. Afterwards he cried, I thirst! And they gave him vinegar mixed with gall, thrust into his mouth upon a sponge. Oh, wretched, detestable hospitality. Mm -hmm. To the one that was going to die for their sins. Yeah. Not, right. Not only did they give him a procession of honor, they presented him with the wine of honor, but they provided him a guard of honor. Mm -hmm. And I've already talked about the Roman soldiers 